Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this Laravel live wire video tutorial we will see that how we can submit a form, how we can make it and everything about a simple form. So now let's look out the points of this video. We have to make a component then we will make a blade file and the route for this component and after that uh, we will see that how we can make a form on a component and how we can submit this form. All right. So now let's start with uh, making a component on the command line. So let's open the command line and just write here php artisan make live wire and uh, live wire component name. So let's say my component name is registration. Right and hit the enter. We have a two file, one for class and one for uh, one for the PHP and one for the HTML. All right. So now I am just going to make a one more file uh, inside my views, which is uh, user dot plate dot PHP, and in this file, let's define a simple HTML template like this, and uh, we can also use here three directives for a live wire live wire styles and then we can use uh, at the rate live wire mm, scripts then at the last let's add live wire component and uh, Component name is this that we make here registration. All right, so let's write something in the registration form because this is empty for a moment. So I am just going to make h1 tag and just write here user registration. All right, and uh, let's go at the last point of creating the uh, route of it. Just write route view and in the view let's parse your user which is the parameter for putting the url and uh, then the second one for the view file which is the user also just write here user and we can find that we got a regist user registration here all right so now we can close the user file we don't need it for a moment and uh, web.php also so let's open the registration file as well as the registration.php file all right let's open the both of them now let's make a simple form uh, the form in the live wire is pretty simple but ju we just need to add some properties with it so just write here form and when we are just making a form we actually don't need to define the action here so just right here wire submit dot prevent so why i just use here prevent because uh, when we just submit the form it will actually re reload the page and it will just stop the reload and submit the submit it to the function name so let's say my function name is submit so it submit the request to the submit function and let's now make the submit function here right like this and uh, when okay so my bad actually I just have to use here public function even I can ignore the public but this is the right way to choose the uh, accessor here so I am just going to define a three field so let's make a three property also public dollar name public dollar email public dollar uh, password great so after doing this uh, now let's define some fields here so I am just going to define here input type and input type can be text that's okay and name can be uh, name but uh, we also define we have, so have to need to define one more property which is wire model and wire model will tell the 
which property we have to bind it with so i want to bind, bind it with the name so i can just uh, simply define here uh, name All right now this input field will be binded with the name property so now i am just going to put here some br tag why br tag because i just want to maintain some space between them because i am not going going to put a style directly now let's define a button just right here register and button type can be uh, submit that's great so let's write here email as well as password and here i can define uh, type password now it will just show a dots all right so just change the name property also name attribute also so now you will find this simple form here and uh, if i am just going to submit this form then what actually gonna happen let's say i put the name tony at the rate something and let's submit it okay so when we are submitting it you are just seeing that it actually refreshing the page so let's see what we just uh, write something wrong here mm -mm. Yeah, actually, I just misspelled the prevent here. Just write it like this here. Now it should not submit, All right? So just run this again and let's write the name. Whenever I'm just submitting it, it will just not giving the response and any responses. Why? Let's look out the network request. What it is sending? It is sending the request. Everything is fine but we are not able to see submitted data for that let's go to the submit function and just simply write here dd and in this dd just write here this name dollar this email and you can also write the password let's just write here this password all right so now let's submit it once again i am just going to put like name bruce bruce and the test wow it's auto detecting because i used uh, this email address several times in the videos so now you can see that the form is submitted here all right in the next video we will see that how we can put the validation how we can put the validation name even uh, we will see everything how we can just put the validation on a uh, key press as well as on the uh, register event everything all right so don't forget to subscribe our channel and please 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 like this video bye bye take care